the day is the day to be friends. What's up, Subi friends? Today is finally the day where I can put this exhaust on that's been sitting in this box for almost two weeks now. I've been waiting for the weather to be just right because lately it's just been cold and rainy. But now it's finally the day. So let's get this box open. What we're about to unwrap is the hardware that comes with the AWE exhaust. So we got our hose, cl hose clamps. We got our exhaust clamps. Pretty nicely made. We got this thing, no idea what that is. Just kidding, it's a gasket. I know what that is. And the uh, uh, last of the holes. Sorry, no cool B-roll for those. All right, in this box here, what we have is the exhaust tips in polished black or chrome. Well, who cares about that? What we should care about is the blow pop. Now, they're known to put blow pops inside of their exhaust tip packages. What flavor do you think they put in there? Green or red or purple? Let me know in the comments below. All right, if you guess right, I will send you my old mill tech exhaust. Not really. Let's see what we got. trying to be mad but as soon as I said what the I saw this I mean, after reading that, I get it. But the cool thing is, they'll replace it for free. So, for right now, sweet! But since I got a cool sticker, I'll never use, but I still got a cool sticker. Insulation instructions. And well, damn, that's some chrome. Those are chrome. Let me get these out to show you better. We got some hardware for the chrome tips. These are also known to not be welded in the right spot, so we're hopefully, I am hoping that they are and they can just clamp onto the exhaust properly. Hey, what did we say? It was green. I kind of figured it would be green. Or red. Or purple. Green is good. Alright, anyways. Super excited to get all this on in here, so let's just get started. The tools we're using, these here are amazing. I'm not saying this particular brand is, but having exhaust hangers to help you remove those little clips from your hangers, or the rubber things, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this will help you a lot in the long run. They are very, very recommended. We also got our ratchets and our sockets, as well as some remove everything pliers. 
Also, we should note that we picked this up from Grimsby. It is their three inch downpipe gasket. It is the one that is twice the thickness as a regular one. Therefore, you don't have any exhaust leaks between the J-pipe and between your new exhaust. Why? You can read the brochure. Yeah, I gotta say, she's thick. Look at that. Yep, she's a thick one. You know how we said we need a lot of money for that swear jar? Well, you're about to see exactly why. Okay, so we all have that one moment where everything is just flowing perfectly, but then there is that one thing that just does not want to cooperate. Well, right here, right now, this, this is our one thing. Now, I don't know if this is normal or not, but this exhaust hanger on the Miltech has a tab welded on the end of it, which makes it nearly impossible to push off using the exhaust hanger removal pliers. The hangers attached to the car weren't as bad as the ones that were on the Miltech exhaust. Instead of trying to remove the hangers from the Miltech first, I went for the ones that were attached to the car. Much easier. Came right out. And after we got that part off, we went on to the next part, and from there, we were just moving right along. Alright, we got half of it off, well three quarters of it off, and I gotta say, that was kind of challenging, mostly because I've never taken this off before. But, we got it off, on to step two. All right, Subi friends, we got the old exhaust off and we're about to put on the new one. But first, let me do a quick comparison of the old one. So right here on this side, we have the old Miltech exhaust and right here we have the AWE Touring exhaust. Now right away, you notice how this is broken into different sections. These are using bolts and while the other one only has two sections, they also used uh, slip joints. While the old Miltech, they used the uh, oval shaped resonator. And over here on the AWE Tuning, they're using the oval shaped. I can't tell the difference between either one of them, but I guess it might do something. However, the big difference is you follow along down here. At the end where it splits off, it goes at two and a half inches. On the AWE, it's at three inches. Now the muffler sizes are way bigger on the AWE versus the old Miltech. However, if you go back to the end, the old Miltech is using two and a quarter piping for the exhaust tips, and you are using Two and a half ish. You must call it two and a half. Still can't get over how this thing worked. Such a pain in the ass it was trying to get this one off on all four of them. We had to take the grinder, just grind this down and cut it off without trying to melt too much of the old rubber mounts. That way I can reuse them on the new car. It was not a fun time. Side by side comparison of the exhaust tips. Um, Miltech uses the slip joints or exhaust clamp and slip joints. The AWE is using the regular old bolts that are welded on there together. Here's an example of the size openings. They're roughly four and a quarter-ish. That's how I measure stuff. Ish. And same with the other one, four and a quarter-ish. There we go, four and a quarter-ish. I do like the way they put their logo right here. Doesn't make it too obvious and straight in your face. Kind of like another exhaust company that I was kind of potentially looking at. Now, although these aren't the diamond black tips that I was hoping for and that I really wanted, they don't look so bad after all. However, I still would be happy with the diamond black. All right, so I can go into a bunch of technical specs about AWE, they use four inch, blah, 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 but really? Oh, and the Zero Drone 180 technology, very impressive. I'm sure the engineers are proud of that. I appreciate you guys, but really, all I care about is how it sounds, how it looks, how much it cost. So enough talking already, let's get this on and see how it looks and sounds. Let's do it. But first we need to do a quick cleanup of the old exhaust so we can pack it up and put it up for sale. Now, after fighting to get this old one off, we got the new one. And the new one goes just like that. And the grim speed goes right on there. Yep, 
old man going under the car. Yeah, there you go. Nice and slow. Now with our new donut gasket on, as well as our Grinsby gasket, our mid pipe bolts right up to the old cat converter. Now onto our Y pipe, which I think it's a Y pipe because I mean, it's shaped like a Y. So why not call it a Y pipe? And then our driver's side muffler slides right on in. And so did our passenger side, but not before I lowered the car down a little bit. I was doing the turning and circle dance way too long before I realized the car was up a little bit too high. Both the mufflers on, now we just gotta do these tips. Oh yeah. Already got one side down. GoPro's overheating, as always. Seems like either the GoPro's overheating or the stupid Canon R5 is overheating. Super annoying, but you know what? We're that much closer. And we were. In fact, we were almost done. But after getting everything back on and put back together, I noticed one thing. My exhaust tips were a little bit off. Damn. And why is that, you might wonder? It's because we put our exhaust hangers upside down. Guys, we are all done. We just gotta tighten everything up. But first, you know what time it is? Oh yeah. Mm. All right. As soon as I'm done with lunch, I'm gonna come back. We're gonna bolt everything on, and we're gonna give our first start. All right, we're back under the car. We just gotta tighten up everything, like we said. We should be done with our final fitment. I'm just positioning all the clamps into place. All right, like them. I'm gonna start at the top and start tightening everything. Just read part of the instructions where it says torque down to 40 foot pounds minimum. I didn't even do that. I'd start it. We're gonna do that now. All right, you guys. I think it's time for the first startup. Let me lower this car down. See what it sounds like. I'm hoping there's no exhaust leaks, but I'm having a little trouble with the downpipe and with the donut gasket not quite squishing together properly. But it just looks like there's a little bit of a gap, and I'm not sure. So, we'll see what happens. Alright, here we go. <laughs> okay. Alright, fuck it. will know when you are leaving 
ครับAll right, we're gonna do a few cold starts, which is not actually cold, but whatever. <laughs> 